Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Missed the target with that hook. opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. by Big. Good block. Scored well with the left downstairs. Way through round number one. Big's got a way of just getting away from that punch. That right hand serving him well. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. And now he scores well with a straight right. Solid left. Biggs coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Head and body! Head and body! This is a white card. You're winning this fight. Estás ganando. Just keep doing what you're doing and you got you go. this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not with. Here we go. Round two is underway. <gasps> Able to dismiss it. Six missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And 
he engages in the clinch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Uppercut. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Blocks that punch. Able to bring the hook down low. Oh, what a whiff by Big. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Blocks that belt line well. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Targeting upstairs. <laughs> Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. On, Able to cover up that gut. Nice. Are you gonna let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Jab, jab. Take your time out there. Don't so tiempo. Take your time. Keep the pressure up, but don't follow him. Number three is underway. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks the headshot. Good, good. That's a good left hand by Big. Big's defense is paying off now. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to, because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Nice block by Big. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Way to block there. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Carries that punch away. Beat him! 
to the Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Good combination to the head. Side to side. Good job protecting himself. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. And that's the end of round three. Okay, relax now. How you feeling in there? Stay alert in there, okay? Stay alert. I need you to come forward with your power hand, okay? Cut him off. All right, listen, stop waiting on him, all right? You're waiting on him. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. We came here to work, right? Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Biggs making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Wow, what an uppercut. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Covers a big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, he goes down hard, and now he's got a real problem ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice block. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound keep defensive moving. fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. Halfway through round number four. Back to the body. Watch him. Hook. Hook. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Unload. Unable to make an impact there by Big. Big's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land. This is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Down the final moments of this round. Keep working body. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Right, relax, so he scores relax. a knockdown in the last relax. round. Now he gotta gets to relax. settle down 
and Gotta gather himself a bit. Right, do you go after move, it? Do you get move. super aggressive here, yeah, having had moving. your man hurt? Breathe or do you breathe. still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye, and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now, he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no he tells right. you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He doesn't like those shots to the body. Start of a new round. Big making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Big's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Just missed with that punch. Come on, kid, focus. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway into round number five here. That's it, just like that. Turns over that hook upstairs. Not able to land the headshot. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing. And that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Ten seconds of this fifth round. And round five comes to an end. Big's got to like where he's headed right now. Now, your scorecard still has him trailing, but he did win that last round. Yeah, I think so. I mean... Before, it looked like he was just trying to, you know, negotiate with his opponent. Now, negotiation is over. This he's is trying to just go through. Right and can't just move the way around. he's at, I think that's the right attitude. All right, let's go. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking, and that's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. That's it. That's it. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Big. <laughs> no.
nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you stop? Oh, what a left hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. of the talk. And this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little, flip the script a bit. <laughs> Good job staying away from the danger there. Biggs using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting Lex, done. He Lex. has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. Oh. There you go. Punch. Punch. At the halfway point of round seven. Where's the body kick? Body shot.
well off the mark by Big. Blocks that punch. Rid of that effort. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. This is yours. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. There you go. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. All night long, this is your fight. You're in control. Don't fight going backwards, right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your face. Big's not looking so hot right now. He's down on your scorecards. That's one thing, Teddy. But as we start this eighth round, you can just see that he doesn't have much left. Well, you know, this is the test now. I mean, this is the time where you separate the men from the boys. Do you want to be a fighter? Do you want to be a champion? Those questions have to be asked, and they have to be answered. Already trailing on your scorecards as well. He's tired. He's tired. Good defensive skill with the block by Big. Be elusive. How about a return to sender with the left hand? point of round number eight. Pace yourself. Yeah, yeah. Big's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. This fight, because listen to me, man. You, we got it. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches. Breathe now. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight. Well, don't get careless out there. Keep fighting.
They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. <laughs> Well placed jab straight. Yep, yep. Able to dismiss that body shot. Come on. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Big showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. seconds into the ninth round blocking that punch very good defense by big to get away from those punches. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. Yeah, very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And this round comes to an end. I think even the casual observer, the guy who doesn't watch a lot of boxing, can look at this right now and tell you he's winning this fight with ease. Yeah, I'm not worried about the casual observer. I'm worried about the so-called professional judge. Time and time again, he showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right. In this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. You gotta watch the water in the corner. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. <laughs> Let's see some defense! A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to show you his blocking ability. Left Big right, showing you a little defensive right. skill there. Able to move away from that punch. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes, makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. <laughs> Ah! 
And he ties up on the inside. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Blocks away that headshot. There you go. <laughs> Gets rid of that body shot. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counterpunch. Yeah, that's the old cats with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Stuck at him! That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Big. Back to Levon. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And round 10 he comes to an end. Together. You understand? It's not like this guy is doing a whole lot. You got to work. You got to be first in there. You have to be first in there. You got me? You have to start loading up. That's it. I see it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing good. Keep it up. Start of round number 11, and I start to question right now how much he has left in him. I know this is a close fight. As we look at your scorecard, it tells that. But it doesn't look close when you look at both guys right now. No, it doesn't. But it's up to him to find that place. He's found it before. Dig down. This is what it's about now. Dig down and go to it. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Big. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. Nice work. Big's defense nice work. is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Relax, relax. Uppercut, uppercut. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. That hook was well off the mark.
seconds to go in this round. This is it. Keep doing what you're doing. You're winning this round. Get sloppy, okay? Keep boxing smart. You're standing straight up. Move that punch. If you don't throw punches, I'm going to stop this fight. Now, come on, keep throwing punches. Don't just walk okay. in. Walk in with head movement, all right? Go side to side. Twelfth and final round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Beat him to the punch! with that headshot. Blocks it away. Hey, oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Blocks that punch. Biggs defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Get in there! Get in there! <laughs> Halfway through this 12th and final round. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> A minute to go in the fight. A thudding left by Big. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. Moving, You're going to find out moving. right now, he needs them right now. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. <laughs> final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. Listen, he was the better fighter, he was the busier fighter, he's the fighter that absolutely deserves to have that unanimous decision go the way it did. And you never like to say this, I say it in jest, but this is one way you could have made up the scorecards before the fight. Unfortunately, sometimes these judges do, but tonight, it turned out okay. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.